Hi, this is Pat. I'm from Cypress, California. What are the chances that Santa will bring me a tall, dark, and handsome man for Christmas this year? Now, isn't that a... That, that, that is just really too silly to answer. <laughs> is Santa Claus going to bring her? Oh, my God. Santa Claus ain't going to bring you nothing. <laughs> I mean, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard of in my life. God knows if she hadn't got a man by now, I doubt she will ever get one. My name is Susie Roberts. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. We were thinking about sending out one of those Christmas newsletters this year, like other families do. Do you think this is a good idea? Some people do do that. I, I have a relative that does that. And they send a, a letter along with what everybody in the family is doing. And I, God, I don't give a damn what they're doing. I don't care what they're doing. I mean, I, I always say stop sending it. She sends that damn Christmas card every year. And it's like a history of the family. There's nothing more boring. Looks to me like they would learn that nobody, when I see that card come, I, it, it, it's on its way to the waste paper basket. Hi, I'm Carl from Philadelphia. I'm 25, and I still can't figure out how Santa Claus can get to millions of people's houses in one night. Hey, thank God, did you tell me you were 25 years old? And you're still talking about Santa Claus? I mean, you must be absolutely out of your feeble mind. What the hell are you talking about? Wake up. Hi, I'm Jeff from Burbank. Hey, fruitcake lady, have you been naughty or nice? How in the world could a 93-year-old be naughty? <laughs> if I was younger, I'm sure I, I, I couldn't answer that question. I, I would be naughty, but not 93. Hi, I'm Mark from Hollister, California. My wife doesn't like having sex on Christmas. She says it's a holy day. Is she right? <laughs> Listen, you must have married somebody then that is not sex-minded. So I feel kind of sorry for you, but I mean, if she doesn't want to have sex even on any Christmas Day, I mean, that's the time when most people really probably after eating a heavy meal and a half and everything, that's probably when more sex goes on than any other time of the year, I would say so. I know when I was married, we used to always have sex and wild sex on Christmas Day. That's a happy time. Hello, my name is Greg. I'm from Brentwood in Northern California. My question is, do you think my wife would be turned on or offended if I buy her a sex toy for Christmas? Give her a sex toy? Well, my God, if you're any kind of a man at all, you don't need to give her a sex toy. Now, a lot of things you give her a good screwing every now and then. I mean, that's a lousy thing to say. I wouldn't give any woman a sex toy. I mean, that makes you look like a fool. I'm Jason from Calgary, Alberta. I was thinking of wrapping myself up for my wife this Christmas. Do you think she'll like my present? Well, I think it's a... I think you're crazy, but... It's a funny thing. It's a, it, it's a nice thing. It would be something that would be humorous. Yes, that would be all right. If she wants to unwrap you and attack you, that would be good. She might do that. If she's the right kind of wife, she'll tear it all off and assault you.